giving his concession speech, very gracious, as you mentioned, thanking the Hispanic community, thanking the African-American community, but conceding nonetheless an hour after the polls closed. And you heard him talk about victory speeches at Chateau Estates Country Club. That is where we're going now. Mayor-elect Michael Glazer taking the stage. Michael Glazer talking to his political advisor, Greg Busson, right there. Let's listen to what he has to say. He just wrapped up two terms as police chief, and now Sulla, he's going to be sworn in as mayor. So Michael Glazer also has a long uh, list of a history and a experience with the Kenner Police Department, having started off with the Kenner Police Department, then was Chief of Police for the Kenner Police Department from 2014, and then also again at 2018, extensive career there with law enforcement for a staff member officers of about 130 officers for the Kenner Police Department. He is term limited and again uh, was a challenger for Mayor Ben Zahn and here he is with his victory speech getting ready uh, to give his speech thanking his supporters with his family and friends by his side. Yeah, let's take a listen. All right, now I have to try to follow up with some good music with a couple of comments. So I'd like to thank everybody for being here. All right. I think they can hear me in the back. All right. Tonight I stand before both humility and I'm prepared for the challenge ahead. I am prepared to unite us in peace, pride, and prosperity. I'm prepared to protect and serve the city as your next mayor. Let the news go forward that we are stronger together. Let the news go forward that we will work to bring smart growth to our city. But most of all, let the news go forward that we will bring honesty and integrity back to City Hall. I genuinely can't tell you how honored I am to stand here tonight and have your confidence. I'll live up to your expectations. Thank you for your support, trust, and friendship. Tonight, Kenner has sent a message across Louisiana that will not tolerate corruption or cronyism. I can hardly wait to guide the city I love. Contrary to what my opponent told the city, the government I run will truly be the government of the people, not the government of the politicians' people. Contrary to the venom of naysayers, contracts and jobs will be awarded based on what an applicant knows, not who he knows and Kenner will be stronger for its independence and inclusiveness. My administration will be one that seeks to unite, not divide. <laughs> to the council, you finally have a mayor who works with you, not against you. This is a new day for you and your constituents. I want to bring us together in pride. I want to bring us together in goals. I want to bring us together in harmony. But most, I want to bring us together because we are stronger together. Yes, I have big dreams, but they will be re realistic dreams. First, though, we have to right the ship. I'll begin my service with a crusade to reform City Hall. I will conduct a detailed forensic audit of every penny spent by the Zahn administration to make sure that the taxpayers' dollars were properly spent. We won't let anyone steal from our city or our people. Tonight, I begin a journey for justice at City Hall. As most of you know, I never expected to be on this path. I'm a career lawman. I am proud that I have been blessed to lead one of the strongest police forces in America. I've always valued the serenity of our neighborhoods, and I will defend that tranquility each and every day. I work with our new chief of police, Keith Conley.
uh, we'll, uh, we'll also expect a great deal from everyone who serves in our government. On the day I'm inaugurated, I will distribute a code of ethics to every city employee. Each person will abide by it, or the person who takes their place will. I will serve with integrity. I want to let us get on to our celebration because everyone in this room has earned it. But first, let me tell you what to expect. I will replace all top-level administrators with professionals who know and understand Kenner. I will eliminate needless, admi needless administrative positions to re reduce grossly overpaid salaries. I will jumpstart capital improvement projects that have stalled through poor leadership. I will hire a competent city attorney who knows the charter inside and out. I will reopen parks, play, playgrounds, and gymna gymnasiums for our children and families. I will revive the 2030 plan for progress that Mike Yanning envisions before he became parish president. I will plan the redevelopment of the Esplanade Mall area. I'll work with businesses for better retention and growth. And you're ready for a new improved Williams Boulevard. I will transform Williams Boulevard into a well-planned corridor using complete street strategy that has neutral grounds, not suicide U-turn lanes. I will open government offices and government buildings, not the boys' department of a failed shopping mall. I will, I will finally upgrade our city's water and wastewater systems once and for all. I will work hard to bring amenities to South Kenner, including basics like a library and a grocery store. I will work with Board Gaming to oversee the re redevelopment of the Treasure Chest Casino. I want to thank a few people that worked tirelessly to get me here tonight. First, my wife, Angela. My kids, Nicole and Michael Jr. And my biggest supporter, my grandson, Jaden. All the elected officials who endorsed me, especially Jason Ural, who was on early on, Councilman Dominic Empastado, and as you've already heard from, State Representative Debbie Villio. Senator Kirk Talbert, the Kenner Council members, the Jefferson Parish Council members, city leaders, city leaders across the parish, District Attorney Paul Connick, Sheriff Joe Lapinto, Commissioner Eric Scrametta, and all the many Republican leaders who stood with me. My campaign team, Valerie Brolin, Brenda Campos, what he's better known as Mr. Quigley, Mike Quigley. <laughs> Alex Berthelot, Paris Vignette, Christy Canella, Alexandra Pearson, Greg Buisson, <laughs> Jeff LeBlanc somewhere around here. And I had to change the stuff I had written because it was supposed to be a mentor, and I had to scratch out mentor and put in head sign guy. Where's Steve Carroll? There he is. <laughs> Kevin Geraci, Audie Smith, Jake Scardino, Mark Adolph, Tony Cash, Tommy Powell, Senior, senior and Junior, <laughs> Jeff LeBlanc, Raul Gomez, Lenny Moran, and Seth Meyer. <laughs> Tonight, together, we awaken the city to a new day, a day of vision and hope, not viciousness and hype. I am prepared to unite us in peace, pride, and prosperity. I'm prepared to protect and serve with your honor as mayor. Is the clarion call to the Kenner that the quest and struggle for ethics and government reform has begun, a vision for vitality is clear, and a leader of proven results is ready challenges ahead. That's our families, friends, the city, 
And as we journey to a new day, God bless Kenner, and I thank every one of y'all for the support. All right, guys. All right, Michael Glazer, the mayor-elect in the city of Kenner.